problems I have with the kids and I have all with the younger generation right now is that um, they don't understand what I say most of the time because I speak in cliche. I don't know if this happened. There. It's, I know I heard some people from Oregon and as far away as Fresno. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know how you speak, but I'm from the Midwest, and we speak in cliché. And I'll give you a few examples. Maybe you've heard these, maybe you haven't. But um, one of my my mother's favorite phrases was always, if I was rambunctious, she would say, well, you're just like a fart in a skillet. <laughs> I'm nine years old thinking, first off, how'd you get the fart in the skillet? <laughs> and, and assuming you got it there, why would you fry it up? I don't understand that at all. <laughs> It was always, if I talk too much, well, you've been vaccinated by a phonograph needle. And today's generation doesn't even know what a phonograph is. And vaccinations are evil, so it's doubly irrelevant. If you saw a rich person, it's like, well, they got more money than you can shake a stick at. Look out! They're at death's door. Like, well, they shouldn't have gone to death's house in the first place. That was a mistake. My grandmother always thought I was gonna, I was dead in the ditch. She was always, oh, Bobby, Bobby thought you were dead in the ditch. <laughs> if you're from Indiana, if you're hit by a car, if you're going to survive, you're going to stay in the road. If you're going to die, you've got to crawl over the new <laughs> Everything involved animals for some unknown reason. It's like, it's, it's raining cats and dogs. Uh, it's like you left the horse out of the barn. Uh, you took the lion's share. You know, you snake in the grass. But if you mentioned anything that came out of the back end of a bull, you had your mouth walked out with soap. It was uh, very animal specific. <laughs> the strange ones was always, it's like, well, they're just trading tit for tat. <laughs> What's a tat? Why would you trade a perfectly good horse? <laughs> Didn't you used to have a bosom? I did. I traded it for two cats. I <laughs> could have to have <laughs> I might be a monkey's uncle. All right, there. Isn't it? <laughs>